According to a new report out today, bad roads, unsafe roads, and heavy traffic congestion cost the average Colorado Springs area driver $2,000 a year. Tonight, we'll break down the numbers and tell you more about what's in that report. You're watching KRDO News Channel 13, where the news comes first. Your news starts right now. Continuing our top story this evening, you drive or walk on them on a daily basis. The roads in southern Colorado take a beating, and now a nationwide study says they are deteriorating and becoming overly congested. Thanks for watching KRDO News Channel 13 at 5 o'clock. I'm Bart Bedsold. And I'm Heather Skold. Colorado having some of the worst roads in the country probably doesn't surprise most of us. But what is eye-opening is how the situation affects us and how we're paying for it, according to a new report out today. KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live along one particularly Rough road in the springs tonight, Scott. Yeah, guys, we're along East Pikes Peak Avenue between downtown and Memorial Park, and many drivers well know how rough it is driving there. It's just full of potholes, and we're going to give you a closer look at what much of the street looks like here with potholes and other defects in it. Now, the report, as we told you, says that bad roads cost each Springs area driver not hundreds, but thousands of dollars every year. And until the statewide transportation quality improves, it's a problem that's not going away anytime soon. Charlotte McGill left her Fremont County home to shop in the Springs Wednesday. And I know quite a number of different states, and definitely the roads in Colorado need a lot of help. McGill knows about the new report pointing out the shortcomings in Colorado's transportation infrastructure, and she agrees with it. People want to shop, and after they hit bumps four or five times, they want to leave. And drivers may feel like leaving sooner when they hear, according to the TRIP report, that they each pay $2,000 every year from the impact of bad roads. These costs include higher vehicle operating costs as a result of driving on rough roads. It includes the cost of lost time and wasted fuel as a result of congestion. And it includes the financial cost of traffic crashes. Now this report comes with a catch. It's based on 2015 data, which means it doesn't include any of the paving that was done last year in the first year of the 2C sales tax for streets project nor does it include any of the improvements currently going on here at I-25 and Cimarron. But Mayor John Souther says at least it shows that the Colorado Springs area is doing its part to improve the overall quality of the state's transportation system. The report's objective is to remind government leaders and lawmakers that transportation improvements deserve a higher priority, and the sooner the better. Here we go. Now, an example of the trouble, again, is right here along Pikes Peak Avenue, where it's going to be repaved this year in a special project that's going to be separate from the 2C paving project and from normal city paving projects. So they've moved up the schedule on this, and it should be repaved sometime this year. Good news for drivers. We're live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.